Hi Libra, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yansa's Universe, it's me Yansa. Libra, I'm going to be doing your general love reading for October. We'll be taking a look into your past, present, and possible near future outcomes in regard to your love life or whatever spirit wants you to know. Libra, please check out all of your other readings that I've uploaded for you, the all signs readings, so what do people think about your readings and everything else. Check the description box. If these messages resonate or if you like my vibe, leave me a like and subscribe. Y'all know I'm trying to grow my channel and your love is really appreciated. And I really do thank you guys for your love and support. Thank you all for your donations. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes and comments. I really appreciate that. So let's jump into it. Ancestors and spirit guides of love, light, health, and wealth, please take me to the white light of protection as I go within the tarot. Holy Spirit, please show us clear messages for Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Protect me as I go within the tarot. No weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Any negativity directed towards me or my channel or my viewers return to sender. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, Libra. Let's take a look into your past. So I pulled some cards. I haven't looked at them. So I'm going to do past, present, future. They may or may not resonate. Or it may have happened, already happened, could be happening um, in the near future. Could happen for you and or your person at any given moment. Or someone you know or someone they know. So we have, I never meant to hurt you. So someone wants you to know that they never meant to hurt you. Whoever this past person is. You could have had soul ties with this person. Okay, they could have had soul ties with someone else while you were dealing with each other. Or you could have had soul ties with this person and you were dealing with someone else while you were dealing with them. Whatever. But someone knows that they messed up everything. This person from the past. They know it or this is how you feel you never meant to hurt this person you had soul ties with them and you know you messed up everything however it is okay and then you'll know who this person is because they were a coward they were afraid maybe they were afraid of the connection maybe they had some trauma and fear from you know childhood trauma fear just things that may have happened to them that left them scarred left them afraid to love they didn't want to get close to people they didn't want to get close to you okay or maybe they were just a bitch you know maybe they were just really a coward when it came to a lot of things and you and that was your deal breaker like i don't feel safe or protected with you because you are too afraid to stick up for yourself how are you gonna stick up for me so that was the past let's see what's going on I hope y'all can still hear me. Someone's calling my phone. Y'all should still be able to hear me. Okay. So what's going on? Currently, you have expectations, which is the number 12. And then we have lavender, which is the number 19. Okay. We have expectations. And then we have lavender. Okay. So let's read expectations first. It says, don't seek anyone's approval, Libra. So you're currently learning how to not seek anyone's approval. Um, you're currently learning that, you know, other people's expectations does not rule your life. Just because that's what they expect doesn't mean that's who you are. So, expectations. The number 12 breaks down to a 3. So, it's the people around you or the people in your environment or surroundings, okay? And whoever else you may be collaborating with. Don't seek anyone's approval, Libra. People will always have their own expectations of who they think you should be. Their opinions are almost always based on restrictive social norms. So that means, oh, you're a Libra, you should be doing this, or they expect you to do that, or you talk like this, okay? Don't let anyone stereotype you or put you in a box. So other people's opinions are almost always based on restrictive societal norms. Therefore, they're extremely unrealistic. No matter what they tell you, remember that you have permission to be whoever it is you most wish to be. You don't need anyone else's approval, only yours. So you're only seeking your approval, you and God. <clears throat> only God can judge me. Okay? And then the second card we have is lavender. Surround yourself with love. So don't surround yourself with these people holding these crazy, unrealistic expectations over you. You see how these two cards correlate? Don't seek anyone's approval. Surround yourself with love. Don't surround yourself with these restrictive people, environments, and things like that. Okay, Lavender, surround yourself with love, Libra. Surround yourself with people who make you feel like the best version of yourself. People you can trust with anything in the world. Maybe you've been distancing yourself from your found family, or maybe you haven't discovered your found family yet. You need to make an effort here. Go out there and reconnect 
or make new connections, okay? So that's what's going on currently for you. All right? And then we have the possible near future for you, for your love life or for, you know, whatever it is Spirit wants you to know. We have the sun that came out. You could be connecting with a Libra. Libra. You could be connecting with a Leo, a Leo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, it says happiness. You're going to be really happy. Of course, that's, that's just how it's supposed to be. Okay, that's just how it's supposed to be. You could um, get into a connection with a Leo. I hear you could even be pregnant. Um, this baby could be born in July or August. Okay, I'm hearing a Leo son. You could be a Leo son. This person or your child or whoever, your friend could be a Leo, a Leo son. Okay, but I clarified it and it says you wouldn't like me if you knew the truth. I feel like this is you saying this, Libra. You feel like people wouldn't like you if they found out who you really are because the sun illuminates, it sheds light on things. Okay, it also brings forth a cause for change because this is a new beginning needing to happen in your life. Okay, maybe there are some things you need to illuminate about yourself, about your surroundings, and about the people you choose to hang around with, the people you are receptive to. Okay, I'm hearing you could have an addictive personality. Okay, I'm also um, hearing Virgo. You could be Virgo Libra cusp or a Virgo is important here. Maybe even a Leo Virgo cusp. But someone says you wouldn't like me if you knew the truth. Now, if it is this person, maybe there's some things coming out about this person. The sun card could represent you guys going to therapy. Okay, just finding things out, right? Whatever it is. That's just how this person feels. But you're the sun in this person's eyes. Or they're the sun in your eyes. And it says we are meant for each other. All right? We are meant for each other. So whatever that means to you, maybe you're leaving one Leo to go towards another Leo. Maybe, you know, you're just finding out the truth about some things and being content with it, still letting your sun shine, not letting anyone steal your joy, and having someone that you are meant to be with. We are meant for each other, okay? Whatever that is, whatever that means to you. That's your near future, near possible future outcome. So let's jump into the all signs portion for you. All the way from Aries to Pisces for Libra. All the way from Aries to Pisces for Libra. for Libra. All the way from Aries to Pisces for Libra. What can you tell me? Holy Spirit. so old I should have laminated them they're hard to shuffle hold on Libra okay oh shoot <laughs> there we go all right all the way from Mary's to Pisces for Libra okay for Libra Libra or Libra okay if you're dealing with an Aries Aries says you don't know how hard it was to let you go but Aries is still looking for you everywhere I'm gonna move this here I know y'all may want to see it and Aries says Aries could have cancer in their chart you could have cancer in their chart you could have met them during cancer season um, cancer could be important to you or this Aries um, you may connect again during next cancer season, okay? Or just you, somebody has water in their chart or they're very intuitive or it's just the energy, okay? 
This Taurus says that they will wait for a sign from you. If you're dealing with the Taurus, Taurus wishes they could share their good news with you. Taurus also adores you. This Taurus says, I adore you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini says, you and I were too young. And Gemini says, I couldn't let you get close to me. We were just too young. I had things going on. But Gemini says, I obsess over you. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer says, I regret lying to you. And I remember every detail of that day. Cancer says... Okay, since two came out, Cancer says, I want to be with you tonight. Okay, Cancer has a lot to say. Okay, Cancer says strawberries and whipped cream, so that may be important to you. Okay, Cancer says, I like when you run from this dick. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Leo, Leo says the timing just wasn't right for us, but Leo wishes things could be different. Okay, Leo says, eat it like Kevin Gates. That's what they do or that's what you do. Okay, Virgo says, I wonder if you're happy without me. And Virgo says, I hid who I really am from you. Virgo says, my mouth waters when I think about you and us. Okay, if you're dealing with another Libra, Libra says, you came closer than anyone, and we will be together again. Libra says, your love is all I need, and your love is all I want. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius, no, I'm sorry, uh, Scorpio comes after uh Scorpio comes after Libra. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio says, I love you. And Scorpio says, I wish I treated you better. Scorpio says, massages and back rubs. So they want to give you a massage or back rub, or you give the best massages or back rubs. Maybe someone paid for you to get a massage or back rub or vice versa. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius said, it was my fault, but I blamed you, and I wish I could take back my words. Okay, Sagittarius says... Okay, kiss my titties or suck my titties. And then Sagittarius says this dick or this pussy is toxic. Okay, or vice versa. You think their dick or pussy is toxic. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn says I left you before you could leave me because we both know I'm not the one for you. Capricorn says I need an outlet. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius says I love you unconditionally and I want you. Okay, Aquarius says... I like when you say my name. Okay, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces says, I want to tell you how I feel, but I bury myself in work to forget you. Pisces says, STD, go get checked. Okay, you or this Pisces needs to um, go get checked. Maybe you had an STD scare. All right, this is all that I have for you, Libra. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. I love you all. Y'all be safe. Book a personal reading with me. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe. Check the description box. I love you. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.